Deep in the forests of North America, when winter's icy grip takes hold, most creatures flee or hibernate underground. But the wood frog has something that defies belief. It freezes solid. Its heart stops beating, its lungs stop breathing, and its blood turns to ice. For months, it remains motionless, appearing completely dead. And then, when spring returns, this tiny amphibian comes back to life. The secret lies in the wood frog's incredible biochemistry. As temperatures plummet, it releases glucose and urea into its bloodstream, acting as a natural antifreeze. These compounds prevent its cells from bursting while allowing ice to form safely around vital organs. Up to 65% of its body water can turn to ice, yet the frog's internal structures remain intact. When the snow melts and temperatures rise, the ice thaws, and within hours, the frog's heart starts beating again. It hops away as if nothing happened. This adaptation is nature's ultimate survival mechanism, allowing the wood frog to endure the harsh sub-zero climates of Alaska and Canada, regions where few amphibians could ever survive. Scientists have long been fascinated by this natural, cryogenic process, studying it for clues that might one day help preserve human organs or even make suspended animation possible in space travel. The wood frog may be small, but its physiology could hold the key to breakthroughs in medicine and technology. However, this miraculous comeback depends on delicate environmental timing. Climate change threatens to disrupt the frog's freezing-thawing cycle, as unpredictable winters can trigger early thaws, leaving them vulnerable to sudden freezes. Habitat loss and pollution also pose growing threats, reminding us that even the most resilient species depend on the balance of nature to survive. The wood frog's story is a chilling yet inspiring reminder of life's resilience. To freeze, die, and return again each year is something no other animal can do quite like this. It's a silent miracle of biology that turns the impossible into routine. Would you dare to face the cold like that?